Hi and welcome back to another Excel interview question video. I'm Steve and in this video we're going to talk about how to not only reduce the file size of your spreadsheet but how to delete blank cells at the bottom of your spreadsheet. This is very important for a lot of reasons and we'll go into it with this example. So here we are in our familiar snow cone example. And if we scroll down, you can see that we have 29 records here. Well, technically 28 because we have headers, but we have 29 rows in our data. But if, well, here, I'll stay down here. But if I go ahead and say control end, which is a very valuable shortcut key, by the way, which will take you to your last active cell. It should bring me down somewhere around here. But I was messing around down way down lower and I did some formatting that makes Excel think that this range is much bigger than it is. So watch what happens when I hit control end. We come all the way down here to column X row 114, which means Excel is thinking all of these cells in here are part of the active worksheet. And the reason that happened is because somewhere over here, I think, in one of these cells, I don't remember which one, I did some formatting and I tricked Excel into thinking that it was part of the range. And this will happen to you a lot, especially if you delete some info out of the bottom of your spreadsheet. A lot of times Excel will still think that this is part of it. And to give you an idea of why this is an issue, if you've ever done a mail merge with Microsoft Word and you've gone and pulled all of these addresses and names into a mail merge, what it will do is it won't create 29 envelopes or 28 envelopes. It'll create 114 because it'll go all the way down to the last active cell. And so you'll have all these blank envelopes that will print out. And it's a huge pain in the butt. And a lot of people have this problem. Sometimes when you go to print, it will think that you want to print all of this data. It also takes up space in your spreadsheet. And so that can be a bad thing as well. Okay, so the way that we get rid of all these blank cells down here is we go control up arrow. That should take us to our last record in the actual range. And then we're going to go down one row and then we're going to press the shift key and the space bar. That's going to select this entire row. And then we're going to select everything below this by going control shift down arrow. And that selects everything down there. Then we're going to right click on it and say delete. Now we should be able to say control home. We'll go to our very first cell. And then we're going to save this. Hit the save button or control S. Let me zoom in a tiny bit here. And we're going to hit control end. And you can see now it's taken us down to the bottom of row number 29, which is exactly what we want. And the reason it's so far over here is because I actually have a little table hidden over here off the screen. But you can see that it picked that far right column that is contained within my data and it landed right on the edge of that. And then if we control and left arrow, you can see that that's our last entry in our data. And remember, it is important to save before you do that because if you don't save, then it's not going to remember that you deleted all these. It's not going to really internalize it, and you'll still have those down there. But once again, if we go Control Home and then Control End, which will take us to the last active cell in our worksheet, it's going to take us to there. And actually, let me Control and scroll to zoom, and you can get a better visual of it right there. Okay, so Control Home goes to your first active cell, and control end goes to the last one. And that's how you want it to be. So I hope that was helpful in helping you figure out how to get rid of those blank cells down at the bottom of your spreadsheet. 
so it doesn't cause you issues. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll check out my course in the description below if you would like to learn a ton more stuff about Excel. And I also hope that you'll like the video, subscribe to the channel, and keep watching because there are a lot more of these to come.